All right, today we're going to talk about direct soldering brushless warp motors onto a warp flight controller um, and how I go about doing that and how about removing the motor plugs or motor connectors in the bottom of the flight controller. Benefits of doing this obviously is uh, more power to the motors or quicker power transfer to the motors without having it the internal resistance from the plugs to uh, between the two. Uh, there's also the added, added benefit of slight weight reduction. I mean, after you remove the plugs off the flight controller and the plugs off the motors, total you probably get about maybe close to a gram of safe weight. I'm, I'm guessing I can't remember, maybe half a gram. Regardless, it's still safe weight. Uh, so let's start by how I go about doing this. A lot of people they do it from the bottom after they remove the connectors of the plugs and. You can see there's there's obviously space down there to do it. I prefer doing it from the top, but that's just me. There's, there's no wrong ways of doing it. Um, I'll show you why I do it from the top though. This is an old uh, Crazy B F4 version two flight controller that has a dead ESC and regulator. Now, newer boards I've noticed that these uh, I don't know, poles in the top are a little longer, so it's a little, little easier to work with. But that's where I usually solder it on from. Um, I actually go about solder from the top as a way of testing how a certain KV motor will work on a flight controller if it was directly soldered on before I remove the plugs. So that's, an, I guess that's another reason why I do it. But I'll show you how I do it with this. Obviously the first thing you need to do is you need to tin your motor wire and I would suggest tinning the poles on the top here as well. Get some flux. And then tin it. Why not tin it? Flux it. Be liberal. No need to be skimpy on it. I've already tinned the motor wire, so that's no worries. There we go. And I have to apologize about my camera setup. I don't have a anything to do macro shots with this, so you're gonna have to bear with me while I do it this way. Solder the wire, motor wire on the pole in the top here. Not too hard as long as your tip is fine enough and you have enough solder. And that is on good. I'm gonna bring it up and show you what I did. There we go. So, I mean, even maintenance wise, it's kind of easy to work with too because, especially with a uh, new. All the one flight controllers, everything is already all in there. Literally, all you need to do is just move the canopy, get the camera out of the way, and then you just unsolder your motors and switch it to replace the motors or whatever. 
even taking it out of the uh, frame is pretty pretty straightforward. There's enough room, depending which frame you have, to pull everything out anyways. Um, the extra step I do to make sure these motor wires don't pull out by accident, because things happen, you crash in the tree, somehow a branch gets caught in the wires and pulls it out. Uh, normally what I'll do is uh, after soldering on, I'll take a Q-tip, alcohol, clean off all the flux, and then I use what, I think what, what are these things called? Black light, UV light activated uh, resin. This one is a uh, rabbit fix. I bought this, I think Napa Auto, Auto Part Shop has them. Uh, another alternative is Bondic. You can get that off Amazon or if you're Canadian like I am, Canadian Tire has those too. But uh, so far this has been the best bang for my buck. It's, I, I can't remember how long I bought this. It's lasted me a few years and I still have a lot on here. But what I will end up doing is putting this on on top of the wire this acts as a reinforcement keeps it from getting pulled out black light I'll use that I'm gonna knock this once in a while the battery on this is kind of iffy there we go about 15 20 seconds in the UV Why the rest of the board is illuminated, like glowing or illuminated, it's because I can formal coat everything of mine. Why risk getting short from a water or a puddle or moisture or whatever, right? I think that should be good. Let's check it out with a, a pair of tweezers and see if it's hard. Yes. So that's on there pretty good. It's not going to come off shouldn't come off anyways. Uh, if you're wondering how to remove that stuff, interestingly enough, I saw a post on Instagram from a Japanese dude who does it this way, which is why I do it now, is uh, you take pointed tweezer and you just pick a, pick a surface underneath where the hardened resin or whatever it is and you just kind of slide in there and peel it off and look at that it just comes out in one go that's it and then you can just work on it and then use the uv activated stuff to re reinforce it reseal it again so that's how i solder motor wires on a flight controller. Uh, if you want to know how to remove the motor plugs, this was something I learned, I think, from watching uh, Adam Bomb's YouTube video and uh, what he, his method of doing it is taking, I think, a needle nose plier or you can use a plier or, or whatever, grab onto the motor plugs and shake Let's see if i can do this and watch it doesn't do it just keep shaking and pulling oh that's not supposed to happen That. Keep pulling, 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 pulling. You can see how it's pulling out. You can also take a uh, tweezers and just dip in there and kind of force its way out like that. That works too. And it just should just eventually come out. 
that. Then I'll just take my snips and snip off these wires. Don't need them. That's it. Motor plugs are gone. And I actually use this method to pull out the plugs on this build while it was still in there. So I actually like while it's here, I just reached in there, grabbed it, wiggled, pulled it out, and then took my snips and snipped off whatever's left over and that was it. So anyways, that's how I do it. Uh, like I said, there's other different ways of doing it. This is the way I've gone about doing it. Any questions or comments, just let me know where to put it. I'll uh, try to find links on where I purchased this, like Rapid Fix and Bondic and other stuff on the description below. And uh, yeah, happy flying. <laughs>